Welcome to the Oasis Loss Modeling Framework Platform Installation Guide. This video describes how to install the Oasis platform on a Linux-based operating system. Now, the prerequisites for this installation are Docker, Docker Compose, and Git. If you're running Ubuntu, you can install these by typing sudo apt install docker docker compose and git into a terminal. Since these are already installed on my system, it doesn't need to do anything. So in our GitHub page, we have a repository called Oasis Evaluation, and this ties together the platform, the Oasis UI, and the example Oasis PyWin model, which is an example windstorm model for the UK, and installs it with a single script. So if we go to the repository, we can get the code by copying this link, typing in git clone, and the link to the repository. So now that's done, if we go to the folder, Oasis Evaluation, you can see it's a copy of what's in GitHub. To install the platform, there's an install.sh script here, and inside the top of the file are the version numbers to install. These are updated on each release, so if you're cloning from the master branch of Oasis Evaluation, it should have the latest version there. But should you wish to change this version, you can just change the numbers here and rerun the script. So you install it by invoking the script and you can see it's cloning the various repositories such as Platform, UI, and PyWind. Now it's running these in Docker, which is a lightweight virtualization system for Linux. And you can see a diagram here of the various components. We have the API, which is the platform, and in front of that is the UI, and behind that, running the execution, is the model worker. As you can see, it's pulling the Docker images, creating the containers, and it also brings up a Jupyter notebook that demonstrates how to interact with the API programmatically. Further down in the page, there are links to access these from localhost, that's your local machine. So once all the containers are up, if you click this link, it'll take you to the Oasis UI, the API, and the admin panel. Now you can see it's finished, so if we Click the UI link. You can see it's running on your local machine. The default password and user is admin password, but if you go to the admin uh, control panel, which is this one here, you can log in with the admin user, you can add however, however many users you would like. So we do add new user, create a new user called Sam. The password is 1234. There we go, we have a new user. So we 
go to the UI, we can log in with the new username, Sam1234. And we're in. If you want to interact with the API directly, you can do so through Swagger. So that's this link here. We're logged in to the admin user. Yes. And you have a list of all the API endpoints and you can call them through this interface. So if you want to see which models are installed in the platform, we go to models, get, try it out and execute. And we can see we have the return here. We have the PyWin model installed in our platform. The Jupyter Notebook is located at localhost 8888. The password is pass. And you need to click this notebook file here and it'll take you to an interactive notebook with uh, Python code that you need to interact with the API. And that will create a portfolio, generate the input files, and run an analysis. So if we click run on this top thing here, it'll connect us to the API with admin and password, then the next panel will create the portfolio, uploading these four files. And we can see that in the UI here, if we do refresh. Actually, we need to switch users. see we have our demo portfolio, show source files, and there, those are our uploaded OED exposure files. So if we follow these steps, we'll then create an analysis. generate the input file. So if we go back to the UI, refresh, we should now have an analysis and it shows as ready to execute. So we click run analysis you can see the run has started and completed. So you can either download the output directly as a tar file using this command, or you can view the results in the UI through here. So if we go to proceed to dashboard, you can see the results here. Should you wish to change the versions once the script is run, you can do so by going to the installation script and changing the version number. So if we want to change just the work worker container, we can do that, 8.3, save the script, and then rerun it. It's going to ask, uh, if you want to start from a clean slate and this will wipe all the uploaded exposure data and reset the API to a clean version, uh, a clean state. So we'll click no to keep our runs. And it's going to bring down the containers and bring up the stack with the new versions. See, it's pulling the new worker.
that should have completed. So if we refresh our API page, yep, it's running. We can go to models, versions, try it out. The ID is one since we only have one model. Execute it. Oh, one second, we need to log in. can see we now have 1.8.3 for the worker image. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful and should you have any further questions you can find the contact details on our website.